So if you recently watched the Game Changers documentary and you've been triggered, this is probably not the best video for you. But if you're looking to learn more about plant-based nutrition, you found the right place. What's up guys, welcome to another video. And if we're meeting for the first time, my name's Tino. I'm a nutritionist and I help people transition to a plant-based diet. And oh boy, is the Game Changers stirring up quite the conversation. So if you haven't watched the Game Changers yet, or even know what it is, it's a documentary that showcases a lot of high level elite athletes that are winning gold medals, that are setting world records, and they give their testimony on how transitioning to a plant-based diet has helped them with their performance and not only that it talks about the other great health benefits that you experience when transitioning to a plant-based diet including better erections naughty naughty great documentary if you haven't watched it yet check out the link down below very inspiring well at least in my opinion there's a lot of people out there that actually hate the film that are debunking it and fact checking it to prove it wrong but you can't deny the powerful impact that it's had i mean so many people are transitioning to a plant-based diet after watching this film including Kai Green, the famous bodybuilder who went plant-based after watching the Game Changers, who has been telling his 5.3 million followers on Instagram all about it with a recent post saying, don't be mad that I can continue making gains all while staying consistent with my plant-based diet. Don't knock it until you try it. The diet that works is the one that you stick to. All these people in the comment section writing this documentary off or the vegan lifestyle off without even having tried it and if they had tried it they probably didn't do it right and i don't have beef with anyone because one i'm vegan and two i'm not here to kind of go head to head with people we're all human we all make mistakes we're all here to learn and grow and get better and that's why i make these videos that's why i do what i do i'm not here to attack people personally i'm just here to address certain topics that I believe people can benefit from when they watch these videos. So this is probably my favorite story so far. Another athlete to go plant-based after watching the Game Changers is Tour de France champion, Chris Froome. And if you don't know who this guy is, he's a skinny looking dude who rides a bicycle up mountains faster than anyone else. Well, I mean, there's a lot of great climbers out there, but he's one of the best. He's been injured for a while, so he's still recovering, but he posted a uh, picture or a story, I believe, on Instagram of himself eating a non-dairy Ben & Jerry's ice cream, which, hey, it's not the healthiest thing to eat. He's probably not eating this exclusively, hopefully not, and he's eating more healthy plant-based foods like whole foods, like whole grains, beans, fruits, vegetables, stuff like that. But he wrote, decided to go vegan since watching Netflix, The Game Changers, Ben & Jerry's got me covered. Chunky monkey. Love it. I'm just so stoked to see Chris Froome go vegan as a cyclist, as a vegan cyclist. So a vegan diet, a plant-based diet, is much higher in, generally in carbohydrates than a standard non-vegan diet. Pretty much any plant-based food that you're putting into your body has carbohydrates. And I want to distinguish from refined carbohydrates like white flours and white sugar and stuff like that. Like that I'm not cool with. That I think you should limit or eliminate from your diet. But what I'm talking about are starches like brown rice, quinoa, black beans, lentils, sweet potatoes, as well as fruits. Those are the carbohydrates that I recommend and that I try to focus on for most of my diet. And you can't deny that carbohydrates are the fuel source of your brain and your body, and you need them to perform at that high level. And also I should say a word about protein. So protein, according to the Dietary Guidelines for Americans, the recommendations are 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per day. And for athletes, it's about 1.2 to 2.0 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per day. So that 0.8 grams is so easy to get. You don't even have to think about it. You just eat plant-based foods, you're gonna get it. That 1.2 to 2.0, if you're an athlete at that level that requires that much protein, you're probably using protein powders, which is the easiest way to get it in you. But talking about diet, you can do tofu, seitan, tempeh, 
beans, peas, lentils, whole grains like quinoa and brown rice are going to have protein. And everything else is going to have a little bit of protein. And all that adds up throughout the day. If you're looking for another whopping amount of protein, you can also do Beyond Burgers, Impossible Burgers, any of the vegan meats and stuff like that. I don't generally recommend that stuff because it is processed and very high in sodium and fat. But if you're eating burgers and that stuff anyway, that's an option. And plant-based foods are complete in all of the essential amino acids. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. They just come in different ratios. So if you're eating a variety of foods throughout the week, you're getting all the essential amino acids. And not to mention that animal-based protein is pro-inflammatory, which as an athlete, you want to avoid so you can recover faster and more efficient. So excited to see my boy Froomey go vegan. And another one that's been making the headlines lately is the CEO of Greg's, Roger Whiteside. I am not familiar who this guy is or what Greg's even is. I believe Greg's is a huge, if not the biggest bakery chain in the UK. Apparently they have a lot of vegan options there as well. So all you British fans watching there, all you guys in the UK, you guys are probably having a little bit of a party right now with Chris Room going vegan and now the CEO of Greg's. Who's next? I am so excited seeing all these people go vegan after watching the film. It's having such a huge influence across the globe. This is really cool. So Google has this option where you can type any word and you can see how often it is searched throughout time. And I just typed in vegan, plant-based and plant-based diet to see how their trends have been over the past year or two. And if you look around in September and October when the Game Changers was released, you'll see a huge spike in these three keywords. Coincidence? I think not. More and more people are becoming interested in this lifestyle after watching this film. And I hate to say it, but I think these haters and all these people critiquing the film and just giving it publicity is helping spread the message and helping get more people on board and trying a plant-based diet out. It is the future. I know it sounds so cheesy, maybe not cheesy, that's probably not the right word, but it is. More, more people are trying this out and they're getting away from eating lots of animal products and realizing the benefits that it has to eating plant-based foods. So I know I may be a little bit all over the place, but check this out. Dean Foods, America's largest milk producer, is filing for bankruptcy. This is insane that the largest milk producer is going bankrupt. When people say that one person's voice doesn't matter, this is the kind of stuff that you need to shove to their face because it only takes one voice to influence others and eventually they'll influence others. We all have the power on influencing people and not just by word of mouth, but also with the dollars that we used to pay. And more and more people are supporting plant-based options, including milks. And the global market for milk alternatives like oat milk, rice milk, almond milk, is expected to top at $18 billion this year, up 3.5% from 2018, according to Euromonitor. Now, this is still a fraction of the $120 billion dollar industry that is the milk industry right so the milk industry is still huge but it's starting to dent as you can see with dean foods going out of business and it's a shame because they've been around since 1925 okay so they have a big business probably a lot of people employed by this company but it's also a shame that they didn't follow the business model of another very famous dairy company that has been around since 1925 as well called Elmhurst, which seized all of its dairy production and switched completely plant-based and they're still around and doing great. And the reason why they switched was completely for marketing purposes and for the high demand of non-dairy milks. Check out this clip of me interviewing one of the staff members of Elmhurst and listen to her talk why they made the change. So the company was founded in 1925. We were originally a dairy company. In 2017, we stopped producing dairy products and we switched completely to vegan plant-based products. Um, we pride ourselves on variety and clean label. That's the most like beautiful like story coming from a food company. You guys were the complete opposite, yeah. and now you've embraced the vegan and lifestyle. And that was that was you know that's four generations of dairymen. You know where what, the company was change, rooted. You know? Trends and you know the, becoming more health conscious about 
um, the products that are good for you and that are good for the environment too. Whether you like this film, whether you hate it, you can't deny that the world is shifting more plant-based. And before you get triggered and start commenting down below negative stuff about the game changers and about the plant-based diet, why not give it a shot? And if you can't do it 100%, go as far as you can. Look at Arnold Schwarzenegger, one of the producers of the Game Changers. While he's not 100% vegan, he still eats a majority plants for his diet. I think the only thing that he eats is eggs, but he's still going to experience a lot of those benefits because the more plants you include in your diet, the healthier you're gonna be. I've got nothing against people who aren't 100% vegan. I just want people to live a better life. And heck, I'd even sit down and have dinner with Joe Rogan. I'm sure we'd have a lot in common to talk about besides the fact that we'd be eating different things on our plates. But that's why I make these videos, man, is because I want to inspire you guys to live a healthier, a more active life, to embrace compassion as part of your lifestyle. And if you can't do it 100%, well, why not go as far as you can? And even with a statement like that, I'm still going to get some hate. So if you like this video, hit the like button. If you dislike this video, hit it twice and subscribe down below for more videos on the vegan lifestyle. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.